an alert this morning for parents of young children. A new law aims to strengthen reporting requirements for tech companies to combat online predators seeking to exploit kids. Last year, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children received more than 36 million reports of suspected child sexual exploitation to its cyber tip line. CBS News congressional correspondent Nicole Killian shares one family's harrowing ordeal and their hopes for the tougher regulations. And a warning, the following story may be hard to watch for some viewers as it does discuss suicide. It starts off kind of innocent. How are you, you know, how are you doing? Where do you go to school? What are your interests? What began as a seemingly innocuous encounter on Instagram quickly turned deadly for John DeMay's 17-year-old son, Jordan. He told him he was going to kill himself. And the, the perpetrator said, good, you better do it fast or we're going to make you do it. And then at 3.45, uh, Jordan shot himself in his bedroom. Jordan was the victim of a sextortion crime. His father said Jordan was solicited by a man posing as a woman who asked him to send compromising photos. Then Jordan was ordered to pay up so the pictures wouldn't get out. Ultimately, it was about money uh, at that point. And uh, I believe they started off around $1,000. They were building collages with this picture and they were making him believe that they were actually sending these messages out. Did you have any idea that this was going on? None. We were just all in shock. We had no idea what happened. You know, there was no signs. There was no depression. There was no, there was nothing. Last month, President Biden signed the Report Act, a new law that requires social media companies to report crimes involving child sex trafficking, grooming, or enticement to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children Cyber Tip Line. And it increases penalties of up to a million dollars for those who fail to flag exploitative content. It has been the Wild West. Tennessee Republican Marsha Blackburn and Georgia Democrat John Ossoff sponsored the legislation. How how personal is this for both of you? Look, I've got a two-year-old baby girl at home, and it is every parent's worst nightmare. And we've got to improve the safety. We have to hold the tech companies accountable to make them safe for children. You cannot sell alcohol to a child. You can't sell them a pornographic magazine. You can't take them to a strip show. If you did, law enforcement would come in, they would padlock your business, they would haul you down to the police station, they would book you and you would be fined. And, but there's been nothing in the virtual space. You didn't That's take any true, action. Senator. You didn't fire anybody. You haven't That's compensated true. a That's single not, victim. The law me, is the first to be enacted since a blockbuster day. Senate hearing this year on online action. child exploitation with tech CEOs, including Meta's Mark Zuckerberg, who That's issued a rare apology to families. Would you like to apologize for what you've done to these good people? I, 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 John was there and believes the new law is a first step. We have to do something, and I think we have to be comfortable with baby steps if that's what it's going to take. But I, I do, I do find some peace in that. To protect other children from another tragedy like Jordan's, for CBS Saturday Morning, Nicole Killian, Washington. So bipartisan interview there, and I think everybody can agree that we need to protect kids the best yeah. way we can and figure out is it's still a new space. Keep in mind how new, relatively speaking, social media is. I think for a lot of people, it's not understanding how someone can get in to someone's head to get them to do some of the things right. that these children um, expose themselves to, offer up. Uh, and I think that's the key, helping kids understand how they can be tricked. But it, it's happened so often, uh, the stories so often. that we hear about that you can't say anymore, well, it's just this child or maybe there were... No, no all children are at, are at risk with, as you said, it's just still a growing space for everyone.